Hey, this is Shay with ShayRepsky.com, and in this video, I want to share with you a few, um, well, four or five different ways that I am doing my best to be more spiritual, to kind of connect to myself more, to connect to my family more. Um, basically, just these super simple techniques and tools that I use to um, connect more because I am, I've been craving that connection, craving connecting to God, source, whatever you want to call it, universe, whatever makes you feel good. Um, I know for me, it just, the connection is something that I, um, if I'm not nurturing it every day, then I'm not using it. And if I'm not using it, how can I manifest anything? How can I live at my highest purpose and, and serve at my highest purpose? I wouldn't, and I can't. So, <laughs> um, it's as simple as that, right? So the first tool I want to share with you, um, that helps me to get connected is laughing. And I know you're probably saying, what does laughing have to do with connecting with God? What does laughing have to do with um, just connecting? And when I'm laughing with other people, when I'm laughing at something that somebody has said, or when I'm in a conversation and we are laughing together, there's this instant connection that you have with that person. Um, and it feels good. It feels like you're connecting. And so making sure that um, I'm playing pranks or just or telling stories that make people laugh or listening to stories that make me laugh and really being in that moment with somebody and having a good old fashioned belly laugh, you know, <laughs> okay, so maybe not like that, but you get what I'm saying, right? Um, so yeah, when was the last time you really had a good laugh? Think about it. And if it hasn't been recently, go get a movie that just makes you cry and snort laugh. Like, just go find something that'll raise your vibration enough to feel good. The second thing that I do is I set the intention. I set the intention on how I want to feel, how I want to connect, um, how I want to serve. And then I... Oh, that, well, that's my third one. And then I release. So like I set, okay, I want this to happen. I want to feel like this. I want to serve in this way. And then um, my number three is I release any expectations around that intention. Um, I release any sort of it needs to happen right now. And if it's not going to happen right now, I'm going to bust a cap in your butt. Like none of that. I, I release it all. And, and I don't know how to bust any caps and any butts. So just an FYI. <laughs> I don't know why that came in my head, but it did. So, um, so, and that really releasing the expectations helps you to kind of detach from what's going on, but it also helps you connect because you've set the intention, you've really listened to what's important to you, you've tuned out everything around you, you've tuned out what everybody else wants for you, you've tuned out what type of relationship you're told you should have with um, God, source, again, whatever you feel comfortable saying. And you set the intention on how, you set the intention on like what, and then you release it. Super simple, right? I think so. Um, yeah. And then my number four is meditating. And the issue is that people, people pray. We all pray. We pray for whatever we, we pray. We share our gratitude. We share our thankfulness. We ask questions. We pray for things that we want. But when do we take the time to listen? And so meditating allows us that time to quiet our mind, to calm her down and to really take in what you're supposed to be receiving. And that really helps you get grounded. It helps you connect. And for me, like if I don't meditate, I'm a hot mess express. I have all sorts of ideas. I have all sorts of stuff. And if I don't in the morning take 10 to 15 minutes to get grounded, then there's no way I'm going to connect 
that day until I'm able to ground myself to meditate and all of that. So these are four tools that I use, four techniques, super simple. They are um, laughing, uh, setting the intention, releasing the expectations of what you think it should be and how you think it should be, and then also meditating. Are there ways that help you become more spiritual, that help you connect more? If so, share it in the comments below. I would love to hear what techniques and tools work for you. Um, and yeah, again, this is Shay with ShayRubsky.com, and I really hope that this was helpful. Um, if you did find it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this on Facebook, I would love for you to share it. If you're watching it on YouTube, I suppose you can share it too. Just share away. I would love it. Anyway, have a great day, and I will chat with you soon. Bye, guys.